Hi, my name is Chris. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to enable the SMS marketing consent option in Shopify. Then we'll test it and make sure when someone opts in at checkout on Shopify, they'll be opted into your text word on Slick Text. Let's get started. Once you've connected Shopify to your Slick Text account and click Save, you'll see this message that says, there are two quick things you need to set up before you can begin. You need to enable the SMS marketing consent option in your store's checkout settings. Then you need to add your text words, SMS terms and privacy statements to your Shopify stores, terms of service and privacy policy. If you wanna know more about why this is important, you can check out our SMS compliance guide, which I've left a link to in the video description. Now, before we head over to Shopify, we're going to click on get your SMS terms and privacy policy and keep that open in a separate tab and we'll come back to it later. Next, we're going to click on go to your store's checkout settings, which is gonna take us over to Shopify. Now on Shopify, we're gonna scroll down the checkout settings page to SMS marketing and check the box. Then we're gonna to go to the top right corner and click save. Now we're not done yet because Shopify gives us this message. To collect SMS consent, you need to set up a terms of service and privacy policy in your legal settings. All right, so let's click on the legal settings and now we're going to add our terms and privacy info. If you haven't already created a privacy policy, Shopify has a template you can start with. Now we're gonna go back to that tab I had you open a few seconds ago with your TextWords privacy policy. We're gonna paste it into the Shopify privacy policy and then add the letters SMS before it to indicate that this is just related to SMS. Now let's do the terms of service. We're gonna add that template if we don't already have one, and then we're going to go back to Slick Text, grab the terms and conditions from our text word, paste it into the terms of service on Shopify, add SMS to the beginning so we state that it's just about SMS, then we're gonna click save. All right, now that we've edited our checkout settings and added the required language, let's go over to our Shopify store and test it out. All right, here at my Shopify store, I'm gonna scroll down, click on this skateboard, add it to the cart, and then go to the checkout page. On the checkout page, you can enter an email or a phone number for the contact info. Notice that when you add a number here, a compliance statement pops up. That's what anyone needs to see when opting in for recurring text messages. Then underneath the address box, there's a checkbox to select text me with news and offers. When a customer selects this, it will auto populate the number if they entered it under contact information, or they can type it here if they entered an email address. Also notice there is a compliance statement here. Now let's continue to shipping. Now let's pause for a second because if we go back to slick text, notice that I was just opted into a text word. This is important to highlight because that means a customer does not have to complete the purchase in order to be subscribed and receive text messages from you. This is also what allows you to send abandoned cart messages to customers who don't complete their purchase. Now, if we click on options, scroll down to the custom fields, we'll see the total spent, last order date, and last order value have been populated so you can now segment based on that data. That's it. You've now integrated Slick Text and Shopify, enabled SMS marketing consent at checkout, and tested it to make sure that when somebody opts in at checkout, that data is flowing through to Slick Text. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Click on the question mark at the top to search the Help Center. Send an email to info at slicktext.com. Start a chat or give us a call at 800-688-6290. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.